so I'm on my way to pick up a trailer, a camper, not a fifth wheel, but a, I guess a true, a true trailer. It'd be a, it's got like a queen, a camper queen bed and little living room, dining room, and a couple bunks and a bathroom. So nothing too fancy. It's from 2004. It's a 2004 Keystone Outback is uh, what we just purchased. So that's pretty exciting. This is going to be our house. So I'm about to pick it up right now. I'm, it's actually my first time towing anything. So we'll see how that all turns out. I think I've got everything I need. I did my due diligence to figure out everything, most everything. Um, who knows? I might show up and not have the right hitch or something like that but um yeah I'll check back in with you whenever whenever I'm there and we can take a look at that thing and then I'm gonna bring it back to the farm tonight plop it down and then we'll probably move in in a month or so we still have some time in our townhouse to to really uh, soak up the good times before we go uh, throw ourselves into a hectic living situation, but I think it'll be fun. This is the adventure, you know. If you're not, if you're not uh, making yourself uncomfortable, then what are you doing, you know? If you're just sitting living in the lap of luxury the whole your whole life with gushy pillows and blankies and the perfect temperature to sleep in every single night and no bug bites, then what are you doing? Are you even living? We weren't designed for that. So here we are purposefully uh, throwing ourselves into chaos. All right. We've got the 2004 Keystone Outback. She's a beaut, isn't she? This thing is lightning fast. This thing is comes in weighing a whopping 7,000 grand. This thing let me tell you, this thing has a brake light out. Those things don't work up there. I'm going to tell you, this thing has a spare tire and everything. I actually was going to film it, but then I forgot. Things got a little bit hectic while I was there. Just a quick recap while picking up this bad boy right here. This sweet piece of metal and plastic and rubber. Uh, while I was picking it up, I actually had... Let's go ahead and go in and we'll chat inside. Come on, Kip. Let's go somewhere more private. Just about as sturdy as you can get. This thing, we went to pick it up. I went to go pick it up. Me and my wife actually... She's not here again. Did I try to hit the target? But me and my wife actually went to go look at it and see if we wanted to buy it. Bought it. Then came the time to go ahead and bring it home. I didn't have too much trouble. I was intending to bring, we've got a, temporarily we've got access to a, uh, an F-350, heavy duty, everything, more than enough, more than what you would ever need for uh, a trailer like this. Um, turns out I left the keys somewhere. Long story short, I didn't have access to the big truck, so then I had to take the Nissan Titan. And it's not terrible. It's a V8. Uh, it's like, it's like pretty heavy duty, but it's not like a, it's not like a crazy heavy duty truck. So I took the Titan thinking everything was going to be cool. Then when I got there, I ended up spending like an hour and a half doing research on my phone with bad internet like every web page i went to took uh 15 minutes minimum to load and what do you know the other guy didn't really know much about that stuff either so we us a couple of goons sat there and put our heads together like i said he was a nice enough guy but i kind of expected him to know what he was doing since that he was selling me the trailer either way it's okay i mean not gonna knock him for it but 
I expect somebody who's a little bit less of a goof off than I am sometimes. You know, you need that in life to have people who know more than you. But this wasn't the case. Um, so we ended up just going with it. And I was like, you know what? This is probably the bare minimum truck to pull this thing. But I think we'll be fine. So we did it. And I got home and didn't have a brake light. Had a uh, license plate. Um... There's probably dead tags. This is all in my dream, by the way. I don't think that this could, this could uh, necessarily get me in trouble by admitting that I did something illegal. Don't know. Frankly, I don't care. <laughs> Sue me. Um, so anyway, we we I got it. I brought it back the other night. It was a treacherous drive. Probably should have taken 50 minutes or an hour, but it took like two and a half hours or three hours. Because I was going slow, I went on a couple back roads so that I could stay off the uh, interstate. Because the other thing about it, the other thing, if you know anything about towing, which I certainly do, then you know that some trailers, uh, like past a certain weight or whatever, have their own braking system that you like plug in. It's kind of like the brake lights you plug in, and then you also plug in the the brakes themselves, so that from the cab you can control like the braking system or something. I don't know. So my biggest fear, my fear wasn't that the truck couldn't handle it. It was really though, it was really like I was gonna stop at a stoplight or something like that and the trailer was just gonna keep going and push me into the middle of the intersection and then I would die. Um, but it didn't happen, so I made it. I slowed down way ahead of time. I went slow the whole way, you know, had lines of traffic behind me. It's all fine because I didn't get pulled over. Um, so I made it here, dropped this bad boy off Got it all set up. Uh, I still there's still things I don't know about it. Cordy's gonna be here actually pretty soon, and we'll take a little we'll do a little tour with you. Um, but yeah, this is the place. This is the pad. This is where the magic happens. This is where the magic is about to happen. Not anytime soon, actually, because over here is the gremlins' lair, the goblins' sanctum. Um, so we'll see. This is gonna be where little baby little baby boy sleeps and it's going to be a time I am walking up to the property I actually have someone working on it right now uh, his name is Michael. He was very, very gracious. He's a family friend. Uh, Michael, I, it's actually my first time meeting him. He's uh, close with my parents. They have a homeschool group you can actually see right down there at the barn. Way off in the distance over here, you can see uh, some children, some little guys, some little tykes, and some medium tykes, maybe a couple of large tykes and they are uh, playing and gallivanting and doing the things that children should do and ought to do. Um, either way, Michael here is a family friend to some extent, mainly of my parents, but as we're poking and prodding around, we were, uh, you know, trying to find people to do a little bit of work here and there. It's difficult trying to decide which things I want to do myself and which things we want to kind of hire out. Uh, trees is one of those things that on one hand humans have been taking down trees since the beginning of time but on the other hand humans have been dying because they don't know what they're doing taking around, taking down trees since the beginning of time so I figured uh, that one's probably best left to the pros so this guy we had gotten a couple of bids and this guy undercut them by like 90% or something because he's such good friends with my parents so very gracious to help us out um, I think I think uh, we don't deserve it actually I know that so thank you very much Michael but we'll go up here and take a look he's actually doing some work up there right now so we're gonna take a look and, and check out what he's doing mm -hmm. 